So the last time we was playing this, we got to chapter three. I feel like we got quite far into chapter three, but I honestly have no idea how far chapter three is. Um, I really struggled with the, um, there was a puzzle in it where you had to sort out some picture slides, which really did me in because for some reason, it, I actually looked at the VOD and it took me over 20 minutes. And if it wasn't for Sam giving me some tips, which pretty much ended up her telling me and me still not understanding why it was that way, yeah it was just an absolute palaver but now we are in this second area looking for something we've got some paint which i feel like we gotta thin out to use on the uh sensor so we can actually get through the door because the motion sensor is locking the door not allowing us in so we need to get something to allow us to thin this paint or something <laughs> it was awful it was terrible Okay, so the items we got at the moment, we got some shears, we got some can of got some can of dried out paint. Yeah, it's not something you want to remember about. Uh you can't actually combine these because the paint is rock hard, so we need something to thin out the paint. Uh we do have the weapon which I don't know why we've got it. Uh we've got Maxwell's keychain and some shears, so <laughs> yeah. search online and get the answer there. To be honest, it's been a while since I played this, obviously since last week, so it's me just trying to get used to the buttons again. Oh, that's good. There's there's enough space under there to hide if I need it. Okay, so. We came in here last time and we got some from in here. That's the only one concern I was worried about being this dude is the fact that he can end up killing someone. But if I remember right, he won us the last chapter, so maybe we should have a bit more faith in him. <laughs> Definitely not gonna happen. Oh, his heart's pumping. He did indeed. Now, ah, water computer. Rude. I can't remember if we checked all these. We can't go in because there's a box in the way. Push the down boxes on you, idiot. Unsafe to me. No. Oh, that means we haven't used that key. That means we haven't been in here. Jolly good. This room's a bit useless, isn't it? Use a machine, I'd have to find a microfitch it can read. Fuck is a microfitch? <laughs> that would be lovely. I really don't want to have to do that slide puzzle again because I didn't remember anything about it. <laughs> I don't have a clue. It's like, I know what computers are. What's a microfitch? I feel, I feel like we have to come back to that. Mm -mm. 
Okay, a drain's clogged. We can't use anything to get. Maybe use this. Oh. Maybe use the paint. <laughs> ah, there we go. Can of red paint. Nicey, nicey. So now, hopefully, we can combine this with this. Right. Cool. And now we can go back to that door that had the sign on it and hopefully get through there. Saying hopefully a lot right now. <laughs> it's because I'm never sure. Well, at least I was right about something. I had a a good idea. I stuck to it. And let's see if we can actually get through here. Magic. What's done is done. It won't be a problem anymore. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know where the wall was, though. I mean, the idea of painting the thing, that's... That's a good example of me actually not being a derpy derp. Oh, we got a key here. More key metal plastic. Hmm. Where have we seen a small... Dam is closed. Okay, we got a letter. So, department, uh, newspaper, archive, S secretary, office. Becca, read this as soon as you see it. Professor Husher is acting weird. He wanders around the archive all all day. See this is archives all day, lost in thought. It's odd, even for him. He barely even answers me. Sometimes he carries a music box. He winds it up every now and then. Mr. Spencer has taken him. Taken him to several. Ugh, I can't read. Spencer has taken him to task several times, and whenever he does that, it looks as though Husher has just woken up. Then he goes back into the office and spends hours holed up in there. Chris says he's the same at night. If not, we think he sleeps in his office because no one has seen. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, mate. I'm not going to get that much further. I didn't read the back of that. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, William says he heard strange noises that sounded like screams but when he went to check no one was there today he asked me about Northern Advertiser Archives a small newspaper from a, some godforsaken little town from 1913 okay 1913 that's important what the hell would he be looking for there if you notice anything weird call security no one has seen Max for days tells me about tells me that before the holiday and over and something's happening. I have a bad feeling about this. You're better off reading yourself. I'm I'm an, <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't read. <laughs> Nothing else in there. Don't like the light flickering. That's no good sound for me. Dodgy wiring in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always the case in this game. I could rummage around here a bit, but I doubt I've found anything useful. Yeah, it looks like there's absolute bollocks in here. Oh. 
Oh, oh not one of these ones. Binds them, keeps you on your toes. Oh, that's Bloody a good. Jesus. Hasn't trained for this at the academy? <laughs> Bloody Jesus! <laughs> He's like the worst impression ever. He almost sounds Jamaican. But I've got a feeling it's something back into the security room because you've got all different dates in here. What did it say again? We should have a look at that. Uh, Northern Advisors from 1913. Right. Maybe I was wrong. Should be on this side. There we go. Magical. There's the micro fitch. Could it could have just said microfilm? Why'd I have to say micro fitch? Is it not my microfish? Is it actually microfish? Is that why it's actually? <laughs> hey MC. Oh, that is embarrassing, isn't it? Now. Well, why put a T in there then? Why not just call it microfish? Microfish. Oh, it's like microfish. Or are you just trying to make me look like an idiot? <laughs> hey, do you want to see my microfish? Microfish, Lord, can I reach these fish? Fish. <laughs> okay. At least we know where we're going. Happy mistake, you know, going to the office. Da -da -da. Was it that office or was it the other office? I think it was this office. Now I can use the micro fish. Godforsaken Town from 1913. It doesn't say anything about it. The actual 17th of August, maybe?
No. God, imagine if they did one of these for each of them. Okay, so I'm missing something here. Today he was uh, he asked me about a Northern Advisor archives, a small newspaper from the godforsaken little town from 1913. Hmm. Seventeenth of March. Wait, what, what's the print button about? Yeah. Okay, let me read the letter properly. I'm, I feel like I'm just missing the point here. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> How can I print these fees? So, you got different rooms here, and it says Professor Harsh, which is in room B. So maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I have to go to room B, whatever that is. He wanders around the archives all day, lost in thought. It's odd, even though he barely even answers me. Sometimes he gets carried away with music. He winds up every now and then. Mr. Spence has taken it to him several times, and whenever, uh, whenever he does that, it looks as if Husher has just woken up. Then he goes back to his office and spends hours holed up there. Says he's the same at night if it's worse. I think so. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Him, he says he is strange to notice. Today he asked me about the Northern Ad Advertiser archives, a small newspaper from some godforsaken little town. But I don't know if it actually matters what date you pick. Alright, probably does, and you probably have to print the exact right page. Okay. Let me just ask a question. Am I missing a piece of information or am I just being a knobhead?
There's a locked door there, actually, which I've not gone in yet. And I still have Maxwell's. Nineteen ten to nineteen twenty. <laughs> That's about the slides. That's to, this is all the history stuff. This one. Seventeenth of March, yeah, but it doesn't Death of Argos Legrand. Check records, investigate family, past and present. Okay, let's just go back there. Let's hope a door doesn't do that shit again. So I did look here first, maybe because I just weren't paying attention to the thing. Crime reports. I'm on it, mate. I'm on it. Thank you, though. Algos Legrand. Legrand's family and the owner of the business Glom uh, Conglomerate LGA Inc has died in his mysterious circumstances along with his wife and his eldest daughter who was eight years old. The events took place late last night in that family holding home where they had been spending some time in spring after the well-known mag magnate had been on the trip. Although the authorities had said very little in their public statement and the lines of investigation are open, the strongest theory so far is that the family had been a victim of a violent robbery with only one being survived, the youngest daughter, Adriana, who is safe under the care of the police officer. Oh, that doesn't really do much for me, unless I'm supposed to go from this to the next one. Hmm. The authorities have said very little about it in their public statements. The one for public statements? I need to get out here and tell no oh, Mr. Noy about this. Okay, cool. Here we go. Please, not this again. Oh, I'm glad I had those. I was oh, good. He made it back. Good man. There's something here. A note from a certain Sylvia that says... Professor Husher, remember to pick up your typewriter and the rest of your belongings from the library desk. 
This is the university library. If you need your own space, you can use your office. If Husha left documents in there, it may be worth taking a peek, too. I think you should take a look at this. Let me see. Oh, God, did you read that? Argos Legrand, heir to the Legrand family and owner <laughs> of the LGA Incorporated business. You like spinning around. Has died well, under reading. mysterious circumstances along with his wife and eight year old daughter. It occurred last night at the family's holiday home, where they were spending part of the spring after the famous magnate's most recent trip. While police remain open minded in their official statements and maintain that all lines of inquiry remain open, popular theories suggest that the family fell victim to a violent robbery, leaving the younger daughter, Ariadne, the sole survivor. She is currently safe in police custody. Oh my god, they're all dead. This is a dead end. Husha left some documents at the library. Maybe there's something there. It's all that's left to check. So now I've got to go to the library. I mean, come on. I mean, let's let's be honest, guys. I mean, like, if um, you basically saw that demon in this area, would you honestly carry on searching? So, this time... I'm just getting this set up. I laugh a lot easier. No, you you know you wouldn't. Uh, Googling. No, I'm, I'm setting my my TV up because it's much easier when I've actually got that. It allows me to what have. Okay, so we still got these three. I'm not using this guy because last thing I want is him to have that weapon. I might be this girl. He discovered a world beyond the border, uh, beyond the borders. Grace holds uh, a master's in history. Flew from the United States to Europe to complete her doctoral thesis and carry out whatever. Let's be her. And we're going to take the tooth as well. I'll go take a look. You check out what else is in that notebook. I assume since this is the last one, but time's a charm, so hopefully. It's too quiet, even for a library. I do you expect no one's in here? No, it's the 27th of August. What the fuck is this? Just leave. Just leave. Shit. Where did that thing come from? Okay, this seems terrifying. Yeah, that looks fine.
I could see each one of them dying here. The best thing, cause of action, is stay away from the books. That like Dark Souls, isn't it? Grand. <laughs> Did yet as it works. So, from the looks of it, what I need to do. I need to unlatch that thing, come back up here, then I can actually push that down and go across. Right. The thing is, there's those zombie things, or those creepy things. It's getting stronger. Gotta be careful. How the fudge did you get around there? Okay, so you've got to use the cameras of some type to actually figure out a way around. I know that much. Shame the library looks very the same. Okay. I feel I should be making notes here. Yo, squid. So. Okay. Let's figure this out. But this is where we write now. So. The first camp. Bloody zombies and weird things. Okay. So, yes. I'm going to get my ass. <laughs>
Tan. ¿Dónde? That's all the cameras. So. But I couldn't go up there. There was nothing up there, I don't think. But at the same time, I look over here. And the only way I can go is straight forward. Unless I can actually go through these ways. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Oh, this is grand. I should go through this way. Oh, he's gone to chill for a bit. He's fine. Still alive. What? Okay. was a trolley but that's not it because it was desk and trolley oh I've still got a death counter on damn it that death count is incorrect <laughs> say settee I can't I post just turn into a nightmare yeah tell me about it okay Omar laughs at me for not knowing that this painter was Ivan the Terrible. Man, I don't really care. Great, so this is blocked up. So now I've got to go back down and figure out what I'm supposed to do down here. Oh, it's all reversed now. Where is it? Okay. Oh, there's a picture. I know with that picture, there's zombies there. 
It says picture of zombies. What about over here? The lamp and desk. But okay. Oh my god. Okay, I can't let it get me again. <sighs> no, they're zombies. I know zombies. That's the picture. You can't go that way, you can't go that way. So the only way to go is this way. I didn't say lamp and picture. There's a lamp and desk. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Globe. I didn't say globe. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, these camera angles are doing me over. Probably. Yeah, there's a fan. Is that fan? Opposite fan, zombies. So opposite fan. So that's that way. So as long as I don't go opposite the fan and keep going down towards the fan, I should be fine. been a while now. Should we go see if everything's okay? <laughs> it was about time. <laughs> God, I just... I'd very much like... to do one without dying. That'd be glorious. I'll go take a quick look. Be right back. Not Etienne, at least. Yeah, it's because poor Etienne. He's already dead. Well, the good news is, at least we kind of know where we're going. So, process of elimination. Hopefully, by the time we get to the last person, we should be able to do it. Yeah, come on. So, let me go. To find the desk Professor used. Let me go look at the actual. Um, no, so that's that picture I was talking about. So you can't go near that picture. At least I can see what's going on now. That's that table where I took that wrong turn and yeah, perished. That's opposite the fan, so you can't keep going all the way to that way. Ah, see, that's where I failed. So look, they're there by that scroll. So maybe I'm supposed to take that left after the fan. Yeah, ma'am. So after the fan. Wait, that makes no sense. And you got some there. 
Wait, that makes absolutely no sense. Because that's where the fan is. That's where that scroll is. You got demons there. I, I know where to go. Kind of just. Uh, the uh, 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 the death counter is the incorrect one. Actually, give me a second. So, there's our Song of Horror death counter. We all increase that by one. Happy? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hopefully it won't happen again. <clears throat> I'd very much not like to have to do this chapter again. So. Hold up. Tick. Oh no, that was blocked up. It won't be 14. I've got a good feeling about this. Well, I think I do anyway. Shit. I've already forgot which way to go. Oh, it's this way, isn't it? Then you take a left. You go down this way. Head towards the trolley, around it. There's the fan. I can't go opposite the fan because there's zombies there. But there's zombies there as well because that's why I died. Hmm. Am I being a moron? I know there's zombies there, because that's opposite the fan. That was definitely deaf down that way. That's, that says to me it's not this way. But I feel like they would have had zombies here to stop you going all the way down there. Unless it's this way to the left. That 
That's interesting. I can feel the controller vibrating when I go there. Oh, that's weird. Maybe I was seeing the actual zombies from... Oh, they were all the way on the other end, weren't they? Fuck it. Damn it. Thank God I'm in good shape. No, zombies are definitely there. I can't let myself get trapped. I don't think I can escape again. Oh, don't say that. Unless I'm supposed to go backwards, but that just seems so wrong. Okay, we're going to go back a second and we're going to check the cameras. We're going to play it smart play. Hmm, no, I... <sighs> I feel like I'm supposed to go to the place where I think there's zombies, but there actually isn't, so... Trial and error. You know what would be the smart way to do this? To take pictures. <laughs> okay. Let's just double check this one more time. So... There's zombies by the picture. <laughs> ah, we cheat. That does make sense. Because that's how I'm able to get down that bit. Because even though I don't go down the picture aisle, I'm going down that, but I'm sticking to that end. So that bit, they're on the left and the right, okay. See with that bit, I can't get down there because they're either end. They're pretty much the whole thing. <sighs> I figured out that first bit. That's fine. Number one's done. Now number two... I can't figure out where that is. Hmm. 
<sighs> that is literally not helping me at all. <laughs> This is basically showing me I can't go down there, but I can get down there. So I need to go down that fan area. I think that's what I'm missing here. So after... That's by a desk. That's that desk, isn't it? table and they're coming out to the left okay there's a table and they're coming out to the left of the table so if I stick to the right of that table next to the table is like a little trolley next to the table so there's a trolley okay my mind just doesn't work in general and I'm just trying to figure it out sound went funky then. <laughs> That's me. Okay, so there was this bit where No, because I got caught there last time, so I've got one person left. Oh my lord. Although, if you remember, last time I did chapter one, it took me like three hours and then I did it in like an hour or so. It's not all sad. like to hope I won't get shot now because that's only if I get uh, he gets taken by Deem. I mean it's kind of hard to escape when you're in a library. <laughs> Just have to find the desk Hasha used. Seems easy enough. How do I not understand this?
picture all wrong. Zombies by this. This is the bit I'm screwing up. So the trolley. If you go slightly to the right of the tro oh, the trolley and the table. Trolley and table. trolley side when you get to the trolley side you need to so what I've said is get to the trolley side stay on that side when you get to the near the rug then you want to slightly go into the rug See, to me, that looks like there's no zombies if you go straight all the way down. I'm not googling. No, never. I'll just, um, Sam Google <laughs> if it comes worst case situation. But to be honest, I'd, I'm getting a bit concerned now because if I lose this guy, it's all over. All I want to know is, am I getting warm? Am I going the somewhat right direction? Well, it must be because it wouldn't give you multiple directions. I'm going to go down by the chest table. Down here. <laughs> Do I have a blanket to get warm? <laughs> that wants to be cold. Oh, I will be if my corpse keeps dying like this. <laughs> okay. So this is the bit I'm struggling with. Can I just, can I know, is it just which, <laughs> which direction am I supposed to take here? Am I supposed to go straight down opposite the fan, which I was scared of, but go directly in the middle because there would look like there was a bit of room in the middle between the actual two. Go straight in the middle. Yeah, why don't I just swing across? The only other way I could imagine is going backwards. But backwards seem to prove badly for us. We can't go down the way behind us because the way behind us is blocked. We tried that to, uh, with multiple people. I'm not sure if we've attempted this way, straight down. Sam? <laughs> I don't wanna die. Okay. Okay, we'll risk, risk your life for, for science. I 
Oh my god. We made progress. Wait. Tower is there. there. It is. I'm almost there. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> An old volume that tells the story of the investigation carried out with the ground. This could be useful. What? Oh, fuck shit. What the fuck is that? There was another book about <gasps> the grant in the library. A compilation of research trips written by two of his associates in Did the it? early 1900s. Sinister Nature was a kind of narration of Legrand's frustrated trips in search of paranormal phenomena, with one of the last pages marked by Husha, the cursed counts of St. Cecilia's Abbey. St. Cecilia, the patron saint of music. I'm not sure what Husha wanted when he set out in Legrand's footsteps. First try. Or how long he planned on doing it. But it was a start. The best place to start looking before it gets too late. Clap, clap, guys. Wait. I hope this isn't part of chapter 3 and I can't lose this guy. I'll be fuming. <laughs> An essential character with traditional taste. Husher is a prolific writer, historical fiction, who combines literary creation with a professorship at the State University of Arts and Humanities. He is used to travelling all over the world, investigating little known events that provide the inspiration for his future works. However, his most recent journey has turned out to be very difficult from the rest. Great. It came with an achievement, so that says to me that that Isaac, kind of is next part. Friend, you don't know what you've done with that cursed music box. By the time you tried to warn me, we had all heard the music. Now I find myself trapped in a tragic race against time. I had a hunch. I thought that perhaps by returning the box to you... Damn it, I've been such a fool. I lied, Isaac. I'm sorry. I just need you to hold on while I find a way to make things right. I left the house without telling Catherine. How could I possibly explain something like this? I thought she'd never believe me, and I was wrong. But now it's too late. I only hope you're all safe, and that you will find a way to forgive me. I must put an end to this once and for all, for my family, for you, and for my own sake. Argos Le Grant, everything revolves around that name. He was the person who had the box crafted and picked out the melody. I know he died in 1913. Newspapers of the day reported a violent burglary in his home. Everyone died, save for Ariadne, who was just a baby at the time. The case was closed, but something just doesn't add up. The police investigation was far too short-lived, and the bodies were not buried, but incinerated. I believe... I believe they were trying to hide the truth. I discovered that the book Natura Tenebrosa was written by two of Legrand's collaborators, the same two who followed him across Europe researching all matter of ridiculous legends, all equally far-fetched. The last case in the book speaks of Legrand's last journey, on which he embarked just before making the music box. I've followed in his footsteps for weeks now, visiting every place, following every lead about that melody. Alas, I have reached the last leg of this journey, in the north. I find myself among the deserted ruins of St. Cecilia's Abbey, now covered in snow. Here, in 1912, the annual concert in honor of the patron saint of music was held. Legrand was not there at the time. 
but he came to investigate soon after. Every single person who attended that concert died or disappeared in mysterious circumstances, and the Abbey has been abandoned ever since. The connection is clear. I know there must be something here, a clue I can pursue. If not, I don't dare think about the future. I can barely distinguish what's real from what's not. Something is watching me, following me, drawing closer and closer by the day. The melody still haunts me. Its notes echo constantly in my head. With each passing minute, they sound more ghastly and foreign. I see darkness all around me, and shadows lurking in the corners. I see my world merging with something else. I see another place. The black figure. I feel it's... It's here with me. Honestly, I have no idea why these people go to these places. They are absolute morons. So, the good news is, I don't know if you was around at the time, Sam. I did manage it. I was really pissed off, though, because it was really basic. I literally just had to go straight down that middle bit, and I was just like, done. That was it. I lost two people for that reason. Just... Oh, no, I lost one. Because time to person. move. I have to find it. But now it hasn't given me chapter four, so that was the thing. Because usually when you end the chapter, it says like end of chapter, but it gave me an achievement, so that kind of says to me that it is the end of chapter. Damn, the door must be closed. When I left the room, there was only a small crack. If only I had something to stick in there. Stick your dick in there. The glory hole. What I'm wondering is you get one character for this bit, so I imagine if you die, you just have to repeat the same thing with this guy. That'd be nice. I wouldn't want to have to do chapter 3 all over again. Don't do that. <laughs> Someone who looks at uh, make out the folder sheets, those remains have been here for decades. Nice. Like an alchemist area. Just never listen to the door, poggers. <laughs> just ignore it and just go straight ahead. I shouldn't waste my time looking at plants. <laughs> Make them feel more interesting. What's this? It looks like a spring and some sort of hydraulic system. If I want the mechanism to move the bookshelf, enough water has to get to it. Okay. Did 
just remember that. Nothing else here for now. Oh, that's where I came from. Derp. This is a corridor behind the wall and it seems that someone ha someone has tried to get in or get out of there. Whoa, scary. So, looks like we have to go get something first. Jam the door. Door with key. The fuck was that? All of these require a key. A tall footer in the hills. I got myself a hoe. <laughs> You'll just be jealous because I got these hoes. Um, Well, there was that one with a little hole in it that I fucking wedge something in the hole. Okay. But it hasn't walked the wall uh, isn't getting through here. So that was the upstairs thing. Nothing here. An ancient for a uh, blah 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 blah. I want. Fantastic. Looks like some shit. Oh, we're in a toilet, that's why. Hmm. 
Try and grab it. Why not? Let's grab the poo. Now that should hopefully have stopped the leak. What? Hmm. There we go, use that damn hoe. valve so we were just at one of the places where there was a water valve so I've got to go open that so back to the clogged toilet area to back this way go back upstairs Jesus Christ. Well, at least I know I'm going in the right direction. I wish I didn't read it. I wanted to read the back of it if I could. Let's read it. Oh, okay. There's nothing on the back anyway. How can he read that? Some days ago, uh, some days ago now, I observed the brothers performing a strange ritual. They turned, turns out to be sitting in front of the mirror and facing it, the light. Ugh, light the lamp and then pull it out put it out this shall remain as uh, written testimony of everything that has been discovered 
and that has been passed out for me as my prevailable I know you. I know you're feeling squid. <laughs> Whoever finds it sitting in front of the mirror, they observe their own reflections and everything behind them. They then proceed to put out the lamp or dim flame, blinded by the previous glow. No one, therefore, they light up. Oh. Sitting in front of the mirror, they observe their own reflection, everything behind them. They then proceed to put the light out or dim its flame to the point that their eyes blinded by the previous glow no longer see. Thereupon they light it once more and again observe the reflection in the mirror again everything behind them repeating the process several times. Sometimes God help us the reflection shown in the mirror isn't what it should be. I can't describe to begin the horrors that appear the mere act of committing them to paper is an insult to our Lord. What they but what can I say is that the more frequent the horrors appear the closer they are the less time we have until no longer only reflections. Okay, fantastic. Seems safe. Nothing, huh? Nah. Oh, look at all those bodies. Alright. The wall has been uh, furiously covered in crosses. I understand that, uh, this desperation that leads to that better than I'd like. I'm safe. If this works, let's see how much I have left. Oh. 